Uh, welcome back to my little shop here. Um, I definitely want to wish you guys a very happy and safe holidays um, during this trying times. Um, I am coming to you from North Texas, and uh, this is my little shop here. So, and I've been collecting vehicles for I've only been collecting vehicles uh, for less than two years. Um, I was into strictly making dioramas. Now I've got bit by the bug and I've been collecting vehicles. And so hopefully by the next show that Runt comes around, I'll be able to have a full booth full of vehicles. So, uh, but today, um, this one was delivered to me today on Christmas Eve. The postal system service were, was running. So, um, this was on my front porch. So, um, um, I did, these are one of the vehicles I did not know I, I needed until I had one. Um, normally, especially, I'm, I was focusing in on the 21st century, the Dragon German vehicles, the 21st century scout cars and all their nice uh, grail cars that I've been really trying to save up and find. Um, and this one here kind of was under the radar. I, I was very shocked that I really, really needed these and I haven't uh, purchased one before until I saw another guy do a video on it and turned it into RC. He, he converted it to RC, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to go find one. So I found one online and I purchased it for very cheap on OfferUp. Again, another auction platform that a lot of the our, us or you guys are, are probably not part of, but there's a lot of stuff flying in under the radar there that people are selling stuff, uh, and their mindset is these are toys, and these are, you know, I can make a couple of bucks, and they sell them for 50 bucks. So, you know, anyway, but uh, the cool thing that I noticed about uh, the, the Hasbro items is something that 21st century should have picked up on and again i probably showed this before but the front suspension how many of your 21st century vehicles that you wished did this just this the small little thing makes a huge difference especially when you've got them uh, displayed at a show or in your big collection just the wheels turned really makes a you know but uh Again, another item about this vehicle that I loved was the simple track system. It is hardcore. You can't do this to a Dragon vehicle, you know. You might as well just throw money out the window. But very simple. And again, this one's smaller than a 1.6 scale. It's more of a 1.8, I think. Uh, but again, it's a freaking half track and it's huge. So once you get them painted up or just leave them, uh, if you find one in mint condition... Definitely leave it because these things are getting hard to find. I've got the windshield of this. I pulled the gun out of it uh, because I'm going to go ahead and convert this one into a, a weapons carrier. I'll probably put a mortar. Uh, this one here is going to have a 50 cal in it. Uh, I did find a, a 50 cal for it. Uh, I do cut the doors out and I do all the interior. And again, this one here I scored for under 50 bucks as well. And I've probably got maybe uh, with the hinges and the paint, I probably got 10 bucks into it so far. I'm ahead of the game. Um, the gun I pulled out of here um, comes on a platform, and you can you can unscrew this from the bottom and take the entire unit out. And this one turns, it elevates, it actually recoils, so uh, it is it is really nice. So um, I'm going to repurpose this one into either a 118 scale German Atlantic wall bunker gun. I'm going to. Um, probably make a bunker for it, or it could be a 118 scale Japanese coastal gun. Um, again, it's it's a, a close um, match to more more so of a Japanese gun. Um, if you cut the uh, the top of this part off, it'll be. But for a German bunker, it'll be enclosed in a bunker, and it, it'll just look cool. Um, for those of you who, who want correctness and everything, then you probably want to build one out of scratch, but. You know, to repurpose this gun instead of just throw it in a drawer somewhere, especially if you do 118 scale, 116 scale stuff, it, it's definitely a good crossover piece. But uh, anyway, I mean, you could use it for a 16 scale Japanese uh, gun. Um, it would work. If you paint it up right and camouflage it a little bit, I think it would pass off as a Japanese gun. Anyway, and especially if you've got a uh, Pacific, uh, a Pacific Theater paint scheme on your half track anyway. But um, anyway, but I've got several of them, and again, they're drying up out there. And again, I didn't know I needed one until I, I actually found one because Hasbro tends to fly under the radar because most of us tend to want to collect 
21st century dragon, even armor tech if you can afford it. Uh, and I'm sure there's a couple other uh, vendors out there, but um, I didn't know I needed one until I found one and it's just cool. And for the price point, nobody else makes them at this price point. And again, they're not being made anymore. None of this is being made anymore. The only things that are being made now are, you know, $1,000 units, uh, $2,000 units. I mean, you know, and let's face it, most of us in this hobby, we're, you know, we're broke all the time. So anyway, but uh, that's my short spiel here. Um, if you've got any questions, definitely chime in. Um, if you enjoy this, definitely let me know. Um, and let me know what you want to see. If you've got to see anything in the background you want to know more of, definitely. I'll definitely hook you up with a video um, or just uh, respond back to you. Um, if you see somebody something back here um, that, you, that you want, let me know. Um, I'm always in the market for trades. If you've got stuff you want to trade and, and, and swap out, I'd rather trade than spend money because you know what? You need to hang on to all, most of your money anyway, So uh, and I need to hang on to mine. But, but uh, definitely uh, chime in. Let me know what you think of these videos, and if you still want to see more, I'll definitely uh, do more. If you want me to just shut the hell up, then you know what? I'm still going to make videos. But <laughs> Anyway, but uh, I definitely appreciate your, uh, your uh, taking time out to view this, and definitely have a safe and uh, merry holiday. Okay, thank you.